Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm getting ready to start layout number 17 for my December daily and um, I'm actually whipping through these today. I'm like really excited. So I used the Christmas Cottage this time by Teresa Collins and um, that is where I got this wood grain for my 6x6 six six. and if you're not familiar, I am doing the um, Project Lifestyle um, six by six. It's the, um, Becky Hagen six by six, but it's a 12 by 12, but it has four six by six. And I'm just doing little mini layouts. So this is the B side and I am going to create little banners for my matting. This is going to be a super simple one. Um, this paper here was just a scrap that I had on my desk from when I was making Christmas cards and I left all of my, um, scraps out so that I would be able to use them on my December daily because I was starting to run really low on um, some papers. So I don't care if I make my banners very perfect. I know that um, you can kind of fold and you know do it that way. I don't. I don't want my paper folded. I just kind of cut up the middle and then I cut this way and then I cut this way. Now um, I have to be really careful with these scissors because I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Do you see how I got a little bend? Let's see if it'll focus. I got the point kind of bent on me. And so when I try to cut straight, it starts cutting straight, but then right at the tip, right here, it curves in. It's kind of hard to explain, and it's something that's not very noticeable, but to me, I notice it. So I try when I'm cutting like my banners and stuff to not go all the way to the tip of my scissors. And that's, it helps. I mean, the rest of my scissors are fine. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if anybody else has ever had that problem. I'm thinking what happened was I didn't put my um, cap back on. And I must have put them away at one point And they probably got jammed in because I just throw them in with pens and stuff. And um, they probably just got jammed in there. Okay. So I'm going to start with my largest one. And I'm thinking I'm going to go... Green on the outside. Yeah, I'm going to do green on the outside. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put that on the, in the middle, and I've been having some troubles, and there I go again with my um, thing, whatever it is, my, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, with this thing. It's not liking me today. I don't know what is going on but it keeps getting stuck on me. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of put them up high. That way I can cut them and they'll be nice and flush um, with the top. Let me see if I can, oh, and I still did not fix my ATG gun. That's the type of day I've been having, oh my goodness. Okay, give me two seconds here, again. I had it fixed last time to where it wasn't giving me any trouble. And all of a sudden, I start the video again and it decides to not like me. Okay. So that's about it. Now I just want to cut across the top. Some of this is very basic stuff, but I decided I wanted to do process videos for every single one of my December daily pages, except for, sorry, next one. Um, I already did December 18th. Um, I'm going to share it, but I'm not going to be doing the process on it. It's going to be a very quick share. Um, it was just kind of a layout that I didn't really feel like doing um, a process on. Um, and I guess when you watch that, you'll understand. I hope. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this here. Um, what I'm talking about today or what I'm documenting was um, <clears throat> the kids had made um, Christmas cards for the kid for the teachers and I had already taped them all up and so um, I just decided to go ahead and take pictures of the envelopes that the kids had written the teachers names on and um, I think that's gonna work for me good enough to document anyway. I'm going to kind of put this off to the side. Um, maybe a little bit more towards the middle. 
Okay, so I chose the wood grain just because it was on my coffee table. And not that I really want to bring out my coffee table because if you can see right here, <laughs> I have nice little um, purple blotches from nail polish. Yeah, my three-year-old, she really likes nail polish. That could have been from the five-year-old too. They both do. Okay. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Let me see if I can still do this. I forgot to staple. Yeah, I can do this. I was going to staple my 17. This came out of the ephemera pack um, that I got for my Scraptastic kit. And um, I have been loving using these numbers. It has taken the guesswork out of everything that I've been doing. So I just did a double staple there. That's how I like to um, adhere my vellum. It just makes it really easy. Now for the ticket, um, for the tab, I was thinking I'm just going to put it down here. I don't know how this is going to turn out, and I'm hoping it's going to turn out okay. I think it's going to be cute. So what I'm going to do is just kind of add some tape down here, and then I'm just going to cut around it and do some quick journaling about what the kids did, and that's going to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I need to move it over because I do not want to cut into the tab part of my, let's see. I'll do it about right, about right there. Because I don't want to cut into this part. And that's what I would have been cutting into. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I'm thinking it will be okay. Oh, so I have been all over Facebook. Um, um, yeah, I watched the uh, football game. And I have an opinion, but I'm not going to state it, um, about what my home team, how my home team did awesome, first of all. Yeah, I live in Washington, so woohoo, we are going to the Super Bowl. But, um, I just had some issues about the very end, and, um, I was very disappointed in my Seahawks Seattle fans. I think that they made our state look a little, um bad. That's just my opinion. Um, and <laughs> it's really kind of funny because I'm actually in big disagreement with one of my best friends. <laughs> so it's really kind of funny because she is disagreeing with me very strongly and I'm disagreeing with her very strongly. So it's great. Um, I guess that's part of, you know, being human is having your own opinion and that's great. So, um, there we go. And this is going to be my journaling spot. So I actually really like the way that that looks. Um, I was getting kind of bored with them just tucking them behind the picture and all that kind of stuff. So this is fun. I think that keeps it fun. Okay, so that is number 17. And I will be back to share number 18. Thanks all for watching. Bye.